Let's plug some numbers into an expression and then kind of mess with the equation and see what happens. Okay, watch. Let's take H2 plus F2 makes HF all gases, so they all go into the expression. This, of course, becomes squared divided by the concentration of these two. Now, let's pretend that at equilibrium we have 2.0 moles per liter. I'm using big M for moles per liter. You can go big M or MOL over L. Either one is fine. Maybe not to your teacher, though, so if that happens, just play along. It's okay. And let's say that we have 1.0 moles per liter here and 1.0 moles per liter here. So I said to you, okay, if that's all the concentrations at equilibrium, then what is the K value? Oh, quite simply, we would just plug in the concentration here, 2.0, but look, we've got to square it, don't forget, divided by the concentration of 1.0, and that's 1.0 there, and of course, that equals 4.0. That is the, because it's 2 squared over 1 divided by 1, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So, the K value is 4. You don't have to worry about a unit, because actually, it's kind of fun. Here, there wouldn't be a unit. That's moles per liter squared divided by moles per liter divided by moles per liter, so there wouldn't be a unit. But even if there was a unit, scientists don't really care. It's just too messy, so we just leave the unit out. Good. That value right there is consistent for this equation always at a given temperature and as long as we don't mess with that equation. Because look what happens if we did this. I don't want it to balance it like that. I want to I wanna take uh, uh, this and make it a 4. And then I want to make this a 2 and a 2, 2, 2, 4. Does that actually change what we have for a K value? Well, yes, it does. Yeah, because then guess what will happen? This will be a 4, this will be a 2, this will be a 2. So what we'll end up doing here, it'll be, if these are the same concentrations at equilibrium, it'll be 2 to the 4th power divided by 1 squared divided by 1 squared. So what's the answer going to be there? Well, 2 to the 4th power is actually... 16. And so the answer for the K value is now 16. Look, here's what we did. We doubled the balancing, but that means we squared everything here. So all we ended up doing was taking the original K value of 4 and squaring it to get 16. Whatever you do in the balancing actually has an effect on the powers, right, to which the concentrations are taken. So quite simply, Here's the idea. If you double the balancing, take the original K value and just square it. What if you half the balancing from the original? Well, then, then you'd actually have one half here, one half here, and a one here. What would that actually do? You take the number four and you'd have to square root it, and that would give you two. If you double the balancing, you square the K. If you half the balancing, you square root the K. If you actually changed all these and made these three times as much in the equation, everything would go up cubed. And so you would have to cube whatever your k value is. That's all. Just take what you've done here and make it a power to which you adjust the k value. Also, what happens if you took this equation and reversed it? Would you get the same k value? No. You'd have the reciprocal. So if you took this reaction and reversed it, then you'd have to invert that, or reciprocal it. And so your answer would be the reciprocal of 16, which is just 1 over 16. Reverse the equation, reciprocal. If you do anything to the equation by multiplying by a number, take that number and make it to the power to which the k changes.